Okay, the first thing you're going to need to know how to do is make a slip knot because the first stitch in your project is going to be made with a slip knot. So you're going to hold the yarn in your hand with the end hanging down. Go ahead and grip that end with your bottom two fingers. Wrap the yarn around going over the top first. We're going to go around again, but this time we need to make sure that you go to the back. So we want an X right here. If you go this way, it's not going to work, so go ahead and go to the back. Keep wrapping it around and then drop it down. So we have two loops. Go underneath the first loop and pinch the second one. Go ahead and pull that through and let your hands slide your hand out. And then here all you need to do is take the two ends and give a little tug on both sides. You'll know you did this right. If you give a pull on this yarn, it'll start to slip. That's how you make a slip knot. I'm going to show that to you one more time. So grip on with the bottom two fingers, wrapping around, go to the back, making an X, continue to wrap around, drop the yarn, pinch the second loop, pull it through, slide your fingers out, grab both ends of the yarn, and tug. Alright, so now you have, now you have your slip knot. You're ready to start working. So go ahead and grab one of your knitting needles and slide the slip knot onto the knitting needle. Snug it on. Um, you don't want it real tight though. It should be able to move around on here. With the needle that has the stitch in it in your left hand and the empty needle in your right hand, you're going to go ahead and insert this needle into the stitch. The loop on the needle is called a stitch. So we're going to insert the needle into the stitch from the bottom and out through the back. So I'm going to show this to you. You don't want to come from the top like this. You want to come from the bottom. You also don't want to come out the front. So go through the back. Okay, so from here, you're going to need to be able to hold these with one hand. What I like to do is just put two fingers underneath and then pinch with my thumb on the top. Take the working yarn, got a little mess here, so make sure that you're using the working yarn, that's the yarn that's attached to the yarn skein. Um, you don't want to use this tail, that's not going to work. And then just go ahead and wrap the yarn around the back needle and down through the middle of both needles. I'm going to show that to you from another angle, so we're wrapping around the back needle and through between the two needles. And I'm just going to show you what that does to help you understand the next step. So when we first we put the needle in, when we do that, you've got one loop going around both. I'm going to hold it like this so you can see. That's just one loop going around both needles. But when you wrap this around and pull it through here, you're dividing that loop. See, now you've got a division in the middle with two sides. So all you need to do after you've wrapped the yarn around is start to pull that right hand needle down. But don't pull it out and then pivot it and poke it through the other side of that division. When you do that, you'll have another loop on this needle and all you have to do here is slide that needle onto your left needle. Just like that. So now we've cast on two. We have the slip knot and the one we just cast on. So we've got to do two more to get a total cast on of four stitches. So we're going to insert the needle into the bottom of the stitch, wrap the yarn around, slide this down, poke it through the divider, and now we have a stitch here. We just need to move it onto the left needle got three stitches. We're going to do that one more time. Insert the needle into the stitch. Wrap it around. Poke it through. Slide that onto the left needle. So now you have four stitches on your needle. This is cast on four and you're ready to start knitting. 
The knit stitch is not much different from what we just did, so it's not going to be too difficult to learn from here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do next. The first row in the pattern says knit four. It actually says K4, and the K stands for knit, so we're going to knit four stitches. So we're going to go ahead and insert the needle into the stitch, just like we did on the for the cast on. Wrap the yarn around, same thing. We're going to poke through, just like we did before, only this time we're not going to move this needle onto the other needle. Instead, we're going to slide the needle that we just, or the stitch that we just worked into off that back needle. Now you could just push it off, but what you are going to want to do and what will probably come natural to you eventually is to just push it off with the knitting needle like that. Oops, just like that. So let's try that again. Insert the needle into the stitch, wrap the yarn around, poke it through, and slide that stitch off. Insert the needle into the stitch, wrap the yarn around, poke it through, slide that stitch off. One more time. Insert the needle into the back, wrap the yarn around, poke it through. There we go. So you knit four stitches, Sorry, I did that without telling you. So the next thing you're going to do is move the needle from your right hand to your left hand. The stitches that you're, you're always going to have the empty needle on your right hand and you're going to be working the stitches that are on the left. So you're going to learn one more thing on this next row and then you're going to be good to go for quite a while on this dish towel. So I'm going to show this to you. The next row says knit two. So Right away, it's the same as we've done, been doing, we just want to do two stitches. So knit one, knit two. And then the pattern says yarn over. A yarn over is an increase, so it adds a stitch to our needles. And the yarn over increase also adds a hole to the work. So if you look at the dish tall that we're making, there's little holes along the edge and that's what we're doing when we yarn over. So it adds that hole and it also adds a stitch to the work. And it's very simple. It's not complex at all. So a yarn over, you've got your two stitches on this side, two stitches on that side. All you need to do is take the yarn, it's in the back, bring it through between both needles, and that's it. And you can see that's put a stitch on this needle over here. It's kind of just loose right now, but it will be a stitch when we start working again. So that's all you have to do for a yarn over. I'm going to show you again. Just bring the yarn through between the knitting needles to the front. All right, and then the rest of the row says knit to the end of the row. So we're just going to knit the rest of the stitches here. We're going to move that needle with the stitches to the left hand and I'm going to show you what we've done here. So we had four stitches, we had cast on four, but that yarn over added a stitch. So now we have one, two, three, four, five stitches. The pattern from here says repeat row two until you have 55 stitches on your needle. So that's what I love about this dish towel when you're learning because you're going to get a lot of practice. Um, there's nothing else you need to learn until you get to the second half of the dish towel, so you're going to get a lot of good practice on these basic skills. So I'm going to do a few more rows with you here. Knit two. Yarn over, so bring that yarn between the needles. Knit to the end of the row. Move the needle from your right hand to your left, and we're just going to do that again. And you can see now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Each time we work a row, we're going to add a stitch. And that stitch is added because of the yarn over. So knit two, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
to yarn over, bring the yarn between the two needles, knit to the end of the row. Okay, a couple of things I'm just going to show you. Um, one thing that I see here, let me knit the two and do the yarn over and then I'll show you. So we're going to knit two, yarn over, we'll work one more knit stitch here. Okay, what I see a lot of beginners doing and you want to be careful of is working really far up on the points of the needle like this. You don't want to do that because two things, you're risking dropping these stitches off, you're risking having them fall off, but also you're going to get really tight stitches. If you find that you're really working hard to get your needle into the stitch, it's just really difficult, you're probably working on the points of the needle. It's making your stitches too tight. So you want to make sure that when you're working, you're working down around the thicker part of the needle. You are on the ends of the needle, just don't work on the points of the needle. So see, I'm not just working like that. I'm actually putting the needle all the way in, wrapping it around like that. Another thing you're going to notice is how I'm holding the yarn. Um, everybody kind of has their own way of doing this. What I like to do is I kind of grip the yarn like this, point your finger upwards, swoop it down like that, and point up. So it's, you're basically just wrapping the yarn around that finger. And then I like to grab like tuck it so with my pinky I like to take my pinky and do that so it comes out the top. The reason I like to do that is then when I work the stitch I have the yarn here in my fingers I'm still holding my needles and I can just quickly uh, toss it around. Um, when you first start it is going to feel awkward it's just part of the process um, it can be really frustrating but Stick with it because it really won't take you too long before it starts to feel natural. So just take your time, be really patient with yourself, and know that if it's awkward or uncomfortable, that's normal. It, it will go away, you just need to have a little bit of patience with yourself. We'll finish this row here. And I'll show you what we've got going on. So you can see the work here starts to come off the bottom of the needles. We have two, four, six, eight, nine stitches on here right now. And for the dish towel, we need to just keep repeating that row, knit two, yarn over, knit to the end, until we have 55 stitches across here. Um, you can see these little holes right here, and I'll show you what that is. So that's the dish towel. You're working from the corner. So see there's holes in the corner and they go out and you're going to work and once you have 55 stitches you'll have a triangle like this. It won't look like this for you because it's going to be on the needle so it'll be all scrunched up but that's what we're going for. I'm going to end this video here and let you guys work up to the halfway point and then I'll make another video for you to complete the dish towel. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. If you need help, please let me know. I'm here to help you and we can do a FaceTime or whatever to get you knitting. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Bye!